After weeks of hesitation, the U.S. and Germany both announced they will provide Ukraine with main battle tanks. Alex Hogan has more from Kyiv, Ukraine. The Ukrainian military officially retreating from the town of Solodar on Wednesday, giving the Russians a rare battlefield victory. But more help is on the way. Germany announcing it will send Leopard battle tanks to help stop the Russian advance with an initial shipment of 14 tanks from its own stocks. It will also allow Poland and other NATO countries to do the same, ending weeks of hesitation and intense pressure from Ukraine's Western allies. Das ist das Ergebnis. This is the result of intensive consultation with our allies and international partners. And I want to say explicitly it was right that we rely on this close cooperation. The move comes as U.S. President Joe Biden officially announces the shipment of American Abrams tanks, giving Germany political cover from any potential Russian backlash. It will enhance the Ukraine's capacity to defend its territory and achieve its strategic objectives. But it's still not clear when those tanks will be ready for the battlefield in Ukraine. Some officials are saying it could take years. The M1 uh, is a complex weapon system. Any time that we've provided Ukraine with any type of system, uh, we've provided the, the training uh, and sustainment capabilities with that. Moscow immediately condemning the German announcement, claiming it's part of a, quote, pre-planned war against Russia. But NATO allies say they're committed to standing with Ukraine and that this will not be the last shipment of military aid. At this pivotal moment in the war, we must provide heavier and more advanced systems to Ukraine. And we must do it faster. Germany's defense minister says he is hopeful that the first tanks will be able to be on the front lines within a matter of months. In Kyiv, Ukraine, Alex Hogan, Fox News.